what's up nerds of the internet i am cyramic and today is the day that i have my triumphant return yes it is here guys we are going back to kate craft so i'm going to explain what happened while i was gone in a different video but for now we are just gonna jump straight into it multiplayer this is KCraft. Okay, there we go. And I do have a mod on. It's called Optifine. It's safe. I'm not cheating or anything. <gasps> we are in the KCraft world. What is this place? What? This is so cool. So I've been playing for a little bit, actually. And this is what I've got so far. Boom. I did go mining. I'm sorry, guys. I had to start off a little bit. So my comp what happened while I was gone, my computer actually broke. And it was gone for like a while. And if you didn't know, I went to a Boy Scout camp. I actually worked as a counselor there. So that's pretty much where I was all the first half summer, half of the summer. But my computer broke the day that I was leaving to go to the camp. So I never really got to like fix it until I got back. So I was gone for seven weeks for camp and then another two weeks just so that I can fix my computer. It was very stressful, but yeah, so we're back on KCraft. So there's this town hall area. I've been playing so I know my, my way around and it's raining. Of course it's raining. So we have the town hall, which is a work in progress. They are still finishing up. There's going to be like this whole like other side and middle thing it's gonna be really cool but if we go back inside if you didn't know what the iron titan is the k crafters have built one already and it is insane this is the drop shoot where they all <laughs> this is where they all like drop to so we got all of these chests here for bulk storage and all of these chests are filled with iron Literally almost every single one up to like right here. So from here on like all of these chests are filled. It's insane um, We got some lamps with jack-o-lanterns uh, We got an ender Which is kind of destroyed right now. I don't know why but this is usually a ender pearl Dispenser so it would dispense directly blah, blah, blah would dispense directly 16 por ender pearls right into your inventory, which is sweet. And k had a whole hookup, so it would go from the end, and hoppers would bring it from the end to right here. Because we have an endermender, which is an enderman farm, which is great. So over here we got the chicken farm, which is obviously loaded with chicken, so that's how we get that. We got a nano farm with some random stuff in there. So if you don't know what town is, this is basically where all of the shops are. And we have a tree shop. So if we go up here, we got some logs, wooden logs. Which is currently, this is out of stock right there. But yeah, it's nice and nice and easy to get some logs because we got this shop here. And then right outside the wood shop, we have this um, mob farm. No, I'm just kidding. Those are just spotting there. It's a sugarcane farm. And... You, this is usually full. I guess someone came by and stole like all of it, but duo Pretty much pimped this out with this building right here. This is the building consultancy If you aren't familiar with this we had one the past like two seasons and Excuse me, I burped And duo runs this shop because he is an excellent builder. He is phenomenal. He built this actually he built all of this and he has a built-in consultancy and the sugarcane people requested for an upgrade. Uh, we got some lava. Pretty dangerous. We got Oki's small abode, which is, I'm guessing, Oki's house for now. Yep, he's moving out soon. Um, this is Isogravity's, like, abomination of chests. <laughs> I don't know how else, to, how else to explain it, but yeah. Then over here we got, I think it's Benny. It's Benny's right there. I'm lagging like crazy. There we go. Fixed it. Alright, so we got 
this right here. Someone, I guess, slept in a bed. Change it today. But we got like a little koi pond here with some fancy looking trees. I really like this palm tree, by the way. It looks really nice. Uh, we got some staging here with the leaves and the hardened clay. Over here, we got another wood shop that was built by these two members. Um, it's not really in stock. It hasn't been in stock for a while, so I don't know what they're trying to do with that. So we're just going to let that go. But over here, this is like the main shop right now. This is bending rods. And what they sell is mending and end rods right now. So, if I ever want some end rods, this is the place to come to because one diamond for two stacks is a great deal. And then over here we got mending. So, four diamonds, that is a steal. What a steal. Because last season, I think I had them for like around 10 diamonds-ish, 16, something like that. And that was crazy expensive. So I'm glad they changed it to four, because that means <laughs> now I can come get some mending. And then that's, that's another thing. I didn't know what that is. But it looks like some a creeper blew up one time, and no one repaired it, and, which is kind of a dick move. Oh, look at this. K-Crate. Loot Crate in Minecraft. One subscription costs two diamonds, and it's a one-time fee. Please read. So this is K-Crate. It's ran by Benny. Basically, if you want to, you can subscribe. It's only two diamonds. And then there's a crate that goes to each person's house, wherever you may be. And Benny will deliver a prize to you. And there's one winner throughout that week. And that's, that's how it's laid out. So it's weekly. And then someone gets the special prize. And then the rest don't. Over here, we had the Redstone Consultancy. This is Isogravities. Uh, basically, it's the building consultancy for redstone. If you're not very good or just really lazy, you can come request a redstone build, and ISO will build it for you. Obviously, for a fee, which is pretty... I mean, it should be expected. If we come over here, right next to the town hall, we have the dragon egg display, which is not... The dragon egg is not in there because it's still a work in progress. But if we come over here to the sheep farm we got some sheeps here and this is a wool farm so basically you would just stand like in here and you would hold right click with a shear and they, the, the way I don't know it's positioned or something the sheep just keep going in a circle and you can just keep shearing them which is pretty cool that's how you get a lot of the wool and it is free to dye your own wool uh, sheep so you could get that specific wool color back up by the dragon egg display we up here We have the court case house and my head's up there <laughs> If you can't see that I don't know why it's up there, but check out other K crafters videos You will find a court case, which is really It's hilarious. It's funny um over here. We got a little walkway i'm guessing bridge thing to mickey's house i believe this is mickey 96's house uh we got a slime farm right there and then that's the afk spot so yeah we got a lot of farms this season already i've only been gone for like two three weeks and they've already got like all of the farms <laughs> it's crazy oh yeah over here my bad i missed this earlier do you see that tall building right there it kind of looks like a skyscraper, but it's not. It's a melon and pumpkin farm, and it's fully automatic. Time to check out the nether. What's up, dude? As soon as you come out of the nether portal from spawn, you get a blaze farm down this way. And let me actually take you to it, so you might take a little damage. Because <laughs> of the what, lava blocks? Magma blocks? I think they're magma blocks. <laughs> I couldn't even think of the name. That shows you how much of a noob I am this season. I haven't played Minecraft in forever. So down here we got the blaze farm, which is really great. It works like a champ, and I don't think blaze rods are supposed to be free, but they are now. So yeah, so that's, it's very automatic and it's awesome. So back out of the blaze farm, if you come straight over here, we run into this potion brewery. 
which looks really good again thanks to duo he Kesor has built this and it's his design but duo came by and pimped it out so this is always constantly making fire resistant resistance potions which is awesome so if you continue down this way we should run into this plate sorry duo <laughs> this is duo's uh base area entrance i guess you could say so through that portal that takes you to duo's base i'm not gonna go through there i'm not gonna go to each person's base if you want to see their base there will be links in the description to go check out their channels and they will have their um hi siri what i'll pretend i didn't hear that what <laughs> siri i guess heard us <laughs> what siri just picked up on that so yeah good siri so <laughs> up here we have the donut which is a gold farm that duo made which is his first ever like technical project i'm pretty sure we're not gonna go up there because you saw that last season so if you come back down here you take a right just kidding that's a left and another and another left continue way down this pathway <laughs> All the way down here that's where we started now we're all the way down here these are Kesor's puppies this is his portal to take it to his base so we should be here yep this is his base Wow that is insane I don't want to give any spoilers so I'm just gonna come over here but if we go down here for we were just over here if we go down here drop down a bit you run into this this is all mine too by the way i'm i don't really need any of that though but yeah we come down here this was his little secret little base thing but we come down here and there's the end portal right there right at his base which is crazy so we got obviously this is where you fight the dragon and stuff unless you're a noob <laughs> and you don't know what that is but if you continue down all the way down this way, this is where we got the Enderman farm. And it's crazy insane. And it's so fast and efficient. Let me just give you some examples. See, like, we already have all of these guys right here. But since we're in 1.10, we got the swipe attack. We could just get all of this XP, basically for nothing. Bye, Felicia's. And then once we get back down this tunnel, we just come out here. And then we're just at the normal end where we would just fight the dragon. And do our own little business. Do whatever we gotta do. Hello. Um, where'd you go? The portal to go back. We go back, and it takes us to our house. This is our house. It's obviously not complete. <laughs> we don't even have a roof or anything on it yet. But this is where I've been setting up shop a little bit. And just mining to get diamonds and stuff. This is just my little camp area. And right over there, you can see the building consultancy. So Spawn Town is right over there. This is not our permanent base. I should give you that. It's not our permanent base. But if we take a look at some of our valuables and items that we've gotten, let's start with food. We got some food. Obviously, food is free because we got the chicken farm. We got some anvils and some furnaces. And then we got some random, like, plant stuff. We got slime balls because of the slime farm. We got some pumpkins because of the pumpkin farm. Empty, empty. We got some blocks, random blocks, and now for the good stuff. Yes, look at all this. Look at all these diamonds. We got 23 diamonds. This is from mining. And since iron is free and the XP is free, I thought, why not just get a bunch of iron, get some lapis, and go enchant stuff. So I enchanted like all of these iron picks, and I got silk touch, fortune three, and it's insane basically. 
So, that basically helped us a lot to get these diamonds. And then these are just some Death Strider 3, Power 4. Yeah, we gotta do a lot more enchanting to get all of our gear up to date. Because I want a sub-touch pick eventually. But yeah, this is all of our stuff. So, now we are gonna go jump in a call with k and we are going to do something else. I'm not sure what, but it's going to be exciting. <gasps> Actually, I do know what. The next thing we are going to do is fight the Ender Dragon again. They already fought it, but I sadly wasn't there because I was at camp for the summer. So, yes. Oh, hi, Kaysaurus. We're going to go fight the dragon and we'll be right back. All right, so Kaysaurus and I are making a trade. I'm going to trade him a stack and 25 blocks of redstone for five diamonds. Thank you very much, sir. I hope oh, you yeah. guys nice to use business. this for a good cause. I will definitely use my diamonds for a good cause. That's good. I appreciate it very much. See you later. Adios. See ya. I do. I'm gonna wait. Farted. I missed. <laughs> All right, guys. So I am finally back. It's been honestly, it's been three days. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Treasure chest by ceramic. <gasps> Bam! Fortune three, I'm breaking three, efficiency five. Bleah. Oh, ceramic that's what I'd like to see. This pick. Diamonds. For one diamond. One. That's so it. That's obviously I'm a pretty great cheap. Deal. Um, guys, we obviously have an iron titan. Another. Uh, iron iron an issue. Issue. But yeah. So thank you, Mr. Ceramic. No, thank you, sir. Oh, oh you're welcome. So before we start the Ender Dragon fight, I just want to go to the Bending Rod Shop built by k and I believe Isogravity. And I want to buy their Mending Books. Four diamonds each. There's my payment. You are welcome, Bending Rods. So at the time of this recording, it has been the next day and I try to edit the videos as soon as I record them because that way I know how long the videos have been. This video is already 17 minutes long so ha fooled you we're not gonna fight the ender dragon today. <laughs> Probably next episode we will don't you worry we will get there eventually so I can get that elytra. Woo! I'm so excited to get that elytra but yeah I hope you guys are excited for this series as much as I am and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode like comment subscribe if you liked it I'm not gonna force you because that's just cruel of me so thank you all for watching and hope you guys have a good day bye Felicia